prepper here. You read me? Looks like it's heating up in there. Find the kitchen and use the rubbish chute. It's your quickest way out. Dear John, I'll never forget everything you've given me. Our time together was the happiest of my life. But now those memories are tarnished, and I want it to stop. We both know that you don't belong in the trauma unit, but the injustice of it all has changed you. You're not the man I fell in love with anymore. The man who risked and lost everything to try and prepare the world for the coming storm. That man seems to be dead. Looking back, your letters become more and more bitter over time, filled with cynicism and contempt. God knows I can't blame you after everything that's happened, but I don't want to know this new man. I don't think we have anything constructive to say to one another. If I do somehow survive the blight, if any of us do, it'll be thanks to you. I owe that to the man I loved. He'll remain a part of me forever. Forgive me.
You found the Studium Contagioni. Oh, this will be invaluable. If only I had been quick enough to save them. I tried, I did. And I made progress. But what survives, well... I can't call it life. I'm almost glad my Omega Group colleagues never lived to see the day. This is Dee's last letter to Francis Bacon. My dear, dear Francis, and so on and so forth. Yes, he mentions the Panacea Code. Now, the Ravens believe they possess this code, and they must still be in London somewhere. I don't know how, but if you can track them down and retrieve this code, it could unlock a cure. Meanwhile, I'm a soldier on. I swore an oath to my queen and my vocation to shed light upon the dark corners of ignorance. And so I must. See yourself out. Dear John, I'm sorry, but I just don't think we're going to agree on this point of interpretation. You seem dead set on a scorched earth reading of the BP, whereas I, and Ron, and many of the others, see it more as a warning that we need to help people, not stand by and watch as it happens. I know you're angry with me and Ron for our- As the revelation shows, when death overcomes life, so shall man walk eternally in purgatory. And those who long for the bosom of God shall not find it, as death itself flees from them to smother the world in grey damnation.
were you doing back in the palace? Look, never mind. I've had an idea. There are reports of a military camp at the palace. The guy in charge is Colonel Waverley, my old CO in Desert Storm. So tell him the prepper sent you. He'll see you right. You could do with some better weapons, and a bit of C4 wouldn't go amiss.